Welcome to Double Your WDW, the channel that gives you the best Disney World tips, tricks, and advice to plan your ultimate Disney adventure. So if you want to plan the absolute best Disney vacation for your family, you're in the right place. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be the first to know about what's new in the world of Disney. It also makes Mickey smile. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. All right, let's get into it. Hey guys, Julie here with WDW, and today I want to talk to you about the Pirate League at Magic Kingdom. This really cool makeover experience is open to anyone ages three and up. So adults, I'm looking at you. You can transform into a mermaid, into a pirate. There are all sorts of different options and price points. It's an amazing and fun experience. And sadly, it's going to be closing. July 27th, 2020 is your last opportunity to take advantage of a Pirate League makeover. So today I want to talk to you all about the Pirate League at the Magic Kingdom. If you're looking for a fun and unique experience at Disney World, you might want to consider adding the Pirate League to your Disney World vacation plans. This experience will give kids of all ages the opportunity to not only transform into a pirate captain, but get real pirate training from one of Captain Jack Sparrow's very own pirate crew. It's also a really great alternative to some of the other character makeover experiences at Disney World, like Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. If you're looking for a makeover that isn't princess specific, maybe something more budget friendly, maybe you're looking for something a little less feminine, or something that you as the adult can join in on the fun, Pirate League might be just the thing for you. So how does the Pirate League work? The Pirate League is located in Adventureland at the Magic Kingdom. You'll find it right next to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. When you check in for your appointment at the desk, you'll be given all of your makeover package choices. But you aren't just limited to a regular pirate makeover. You have options like Ghost Pirate, Zombie Pirate, Captain Hook, Blackbeard, Red the Pirate, or you can even do a Pirate Glam package. If pirates don't speak to you, there are also several mermaid packages available. Current pricing starts at $18.95 and goes all the way up to $99.95, so you have a ton of options in between. You can either get packages that include just some facial makeup, maybe you want to do makeup and a costume, maybe you're looking for something in between. There are really fun options for every style and budget. Once you decide which package you want, you're taken back into the Pirate's Den to begin your transformation. We did the Pirate League experience with our eight-year-old son and had an amazing time. He chose the first mate package and picked a scruffy looking pirate look complete with beard and even a scar. The event starts by picking your very own pirate name. His name was chosen using a combination of his birthday and a roll of the dice. My son Tanner was then transformed into the pirate Ben Foulstench. Once his name was chosen and he was introduced to one of Captain Jack Sparrow's very own pirate crew members, they got to work transforming a regular eight-year-old boy into a pirate. Makeup is applied to complete the pirate look. He was then given a bandana, an eye patch, an earring, a pirate sash, even a tattoo. He was asked to take a pirate oath, and when we were done, we all yelled yo-ho in celebration of his new pirate look. Before we left, we explored Captain Jack Sparrow's secret den, and were even able to steal some of his golden treasure that was hidden in the room. We were given instructions and makeup removing wipes for when my son was ready to shave his beard. Overall, we thought this was an incredibly amazing experience. Our pirate crew member was extremely fun and funny. He played with my son the entire time, told jokes, and really kept us in the pirate spirit. I'll note that this is an incredibly interactive experience. It's more than just face painting. My son is extremely shy and had a hard time with things like the pirate oath, so you might want to keep that in mind. Although I will note that the cast members were very good and understanding when this came up. Overall, he had an amazing time getting transformed into one of Captain Jack Sparrow's crew. He also loved the comments from guests and cast members as we walked around the parks the rest of the day. 
Based on my experience with my son during the Pirate League, I would say make your appointment early in the day. This way your child can get the most out of their makeover. We had a morning appointment, and when we walked around the park the rest of the day, my son was thrilled at the comments he got. I'd also suggest that you buy any costumes ahead of time if you can. You can get fun pirate costumes from Amazon for way less than the costumes they have at Disney World. This way you can opt for one of the less expensive packages but still have the complete pirate or mermaid look for your child. I'd also say book your appointment in advance. You can make reservations at the 180 day mark from your check-in date. While there are often spots available last minute, I wouldn't risk missing out if this is something that you know you or your child wants to do. Make an appointment ahead of time on Disney's website. Next, I'd suggest getting in on the fun yourself. This experience isn't only for children. Any guests age three or older can get a makeover. So if you have a child getting a pirate makeover, think about jumping in and getting one yourself. My next tip is to bring your camera or head to one of the Disney PhotoPass studios. If you have the Memory Maker package, any PhotoPass studio photos will be included. This is such a fun and unique experience, you're going to want to have photos of it later. My last tip is to bring extra makeup wipes with you. If you're able to pack extra makeup wipes, you're going to want to do that. They provide you with a single makeup wipe before you leave, but depending on the package you choose, you might need more than that. They use really high quality makeup and it doesn't come off easily even with soap and water. So makeup wipes are the way to go. And don't forget to have fun. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna be booking a Pirate League makeover before your next trip to Disney World? Remember, you only have until July 27th, 2020. So if it's something you wanna book, I would do that today. If you need more information on the Pirate League, check the link below. I have a ton of information, along with other ways to help plan the best Disney World vacation possible. If you like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload more videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the parks.